At Computex 2025, there's plenty of cool computer cases and demonstrations of how AI assistants can act as concierge, assistant director for your live stream, can help you visualize your home remodel or generate multiple versions of reality. But some devices being shown this year are not just about what AI can do, but where AI does it, moving from distant cloud computers to devices much closer to us, a trend known as hybrid or edge AI. So I think that when we're seeing the sort of the distribution of AI moving, not out of the cloud, but expanding also to the edge and to desktop and laptops and, and freeing small to medium sized businesses, being able to do AI workloads and do training locally. Um, I think that that kind of changes the game a little bit. And AI is a business where size matters. Training or using AI models used to rely on data centers filled with massive servers like these. But the industry is changing, bringing that power closer to home with AI computers that can even fit in your hand. It's not just about convenience. Creating and using AI models locally and offline can be more secure and faster, leading to quicker breakthroughs in other fields. This is going to be an exciting time because this is when AI becomes super useful for, you know, whether it's curing cancer or trying to solve for um, climate change. So will you eventually be able to train AI models, say, on your smartphone? Certainly. Yes, I do. I do, I do think we'll get to that point. Because the models will become more efficient and the computing power will get greater and greater. Whether it's a smartphone or a data center, all these AI promises hinge on AI chips. And right now, Taiwanese chip giant TSMC manufactures nearly every leading AI chip, and it's racing to keep up with growing demand. TSMC is still, it's still a situation where demand is much higher than supply, and TSMC is still ramping up all these plants to get, to get that back in, into sync or to meet that demand. That may be why companies like NVIDIA announced even more investment in Taiwan at Computex, such as its new Constellation office in Taipei. The company's need for chips is vast, as it makes deals to provide tens, even hundreds of thousands of AI chips to countries across the world, including Taiwan. And these new investments in the country come despite widespread predictions that the industry could diversify away from the long-running leader. I think there are a lot of themes going on at Computex this year, um, and and one of them is obviously the sort of resurgence of Taiwan, where the uh, the chip industry is is sort of, you know, not planting its flag, but maybe not replanting it, cementing it. That yeah, no, Taiwan is still very much at the center of this, uh, and matters a lot. As AI moves into our homes, offices, and pockets, Computex is revealing a future that's smaller, smarter and still made in Taiwan. Klein Wong and Chris Gorin for Taiwan Plus.